wrap up the Suki Soup with Real Talk After Dark TV. Also want to shout out, send a shout out to Rock Our Celebrity. Today we are at our uh, video release party with Carrie Lane. Carrie Lane, you're a new artist to the scene? Or uh, yeah, right. You I've been are. a little while, you know, doing my pop thing. Oh, okay, you know? <laughs> okay. I want to send a shout out to Bridget for this um, event tonight and for inviting me. So um, tell me a little bit about your Carrie and what you're doing out here and how does it feel? Oh, it feels amazing. I'm so excited. This is my first. I've kind of switched a little bit from just straight pop to like pop indie, kind of like a guitar vibe kind of thing. I'm so excited. This is my first song on my new EP oh, okay. and I'm really excited to show it to everybody okay. for everybody to watch. So, um, so tell, let everybody know where you're from and how you got started. I'm from New Jersey, the great state. What's up, Garden okay. State? All right. All right. <laughs> in Queens, Long Island, I, I'm right? so excited to be in Queens right now. My mom's from Queens. So, oh, okay. yeah, I was like, I'm, I know this hood a little bit. <laughs> okay, all right. Great place, great venue. So exactly. tell me a little bit about what got you interested in becoming an artist. I started, it was singing since I was like a little kid. I was that little kid who like was so annoying. You're like, get her away. Yeah, Why won't yeah. she stop singing? Uh -huh. And then I finally, like when I was about 18 years old, I started writing my own music and getting okay. my own thing. And you know, it just kind of took off from there. Oh, well, well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank so, you. Um, so how old are you now, if you mind? 21. You're 21, yeah. okay. So it took you about two years mm -hmm. to start to actually release a video. Yep. Okay, so, um, how do you feel about being an artist? Like, what, I love what it. drives you? Um, honestly, I just have such a passion for it, and mm -hmm. I just love music so much, and I love connecting with people. So, sharing mm -hmm. my music is like my favorite thing to do. Okay, all right. So, uh, who's your favorite characters and like basically artists, artists that inspire you? Who are the artists that inspire? Like you? a really stereotypical Taylor Swift. Like Taylor I love Swift? me some okay. Taylor Swift. All right, all right. I know there are a lot of haters out there, but I yeah, love her. Taylor Swift is cool. I love her music as <laughs> yeah. well. So now, Taylor Swift is your only artist. Okay. And who, who pushes you? Like, where do you get your talent from? Honestly, nobody in my family has like an inch of musical talent. Oh, like, not, so yeah, they're doctors and lawyers one? and scientists, and I'm just like, hi, here's okay. my voice. <laughs> so, um, where's your music being played at right now? Um, it's all over. I have a YouTube channel which has over 500,000 views, mm -hmm. and then I have an iTunes and Spotify and all that kind of stuff. You can okay, find all the music there. How can they find you on there? Where, if you um, go to Carrie Lane Music, um, if you go to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, that's me, and all my music is there. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, so um, what do you want other artists to, find, to, to do? What do you think they should do in order to make it in the industry? Like what it took for yeah. you to make it. It took you two years, but some people it takes 10, 15 yeah. or more years. Absolutely. You have to just stay true to yourself. There are so many voices, especially in the industry, that are going to like try to tell you and pull you different ways. You just have to stick to your gut because at the end of the day, you're the artist. Mm -hmm. It's your creativity. It's your voice. So, How many studios you went through before you actually found the actual oh, studio? Oh, like producers and studios, it's like all the time. But the one I work with now I love, it's probably took me about five or six to okay. find the one that I really okay, like. Okay, yeah. okay. So let um, everybody out there know like how hard it is to become an artist and what it takes to become an artist. I mean, it's so easy to give up. There's so much saying like, no, you can't do it. No, you're bad. I hate your voice, whatever. So you just have to like have these blinders on and know and be determined because at any of those things, people get pulled away and they quit and so you just can't. So basically, you have to be have faith within yourself, yeah, exactly. not what nobody else tells you. Exactly. And that's very smart. And yeah. she's 21, you guys, and uh, <laughs> she's come a long way in two years. And that's, that's beautiful. How did you meet Bridget? Um, I met Bridget at um, a talent show that I was okay. performing at. It was like an award show, um, the Image Entertainment Awards. And she, was, she heard me sing and was like, Let's work together. Okay. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, right. I'm in. Right. Okay, so do you find it hard, um, like, to, do you find it strict to have a manager when you have one? It's hard because you want to take everything that you're doing and drive it forward, but there are people, you know, some, they know better than you sometimes, and it's not, might not be exactly what you want to do, and so you have to find a balance between what you want to do and what you think is right for your career. So when, what, what's, what advice you would give to somebody out there who has a manager and who has a record label that's behind them? I would say just to, like, make sure that your voice is heard, but to also take in the advice and take, these people have knowledge and have been doing it for years, so you've got to take your uniqueness and incorporate it with whatever formula it is that they have that works. Okay. Okay, so what would you tell any young lady out there to be careful for in the industry? Um, 
<laughs> Everything. <laughs> okay, okay. So that, that's what's up. So tell us once again, where you from again? Yes, New Jersey. Born Hello. And raised in New Jersey. Born and raised, yep. Okay, and uh, we at Carrie Lane's video release party. Um, we will be showing you the video a little bit later on this same segment. So we'll be back with more interviews. And Carrie Lane, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you. You too. Okay, thank you. Suki Suk again. We're here with Bridget, the person who actually put this together. And uh, right, you put this together. I did. Yes, yes. yes. And you did such a great job. And tell me a little bit about. I didn't know you manage artists. I do PR for artists, so oh, I'm their okay. publicist. Yeah. So, right. so um, Carrie filmed a video, and actually, the little girl in the video is my daughter. I know. So we keep it in the family. Yes. <laughs> um, and the place was. This place, Il Baco, is where the video was filmed, and they okay. were happy and gracious and said, why don't we host a party for you for your video premiere, oh, that's and what's that's what's up. Wow. Yeah. yes, and that's what great networking is. This is Miss PR, Bridget. Um, she's been reaching out to me, and I love the fact that you're reaching out to me. Thank you so much. I try to make it as much as places I can make it. I've been sick for a while, 
and I'm better now, and I'm back on the scene, and I'm so You're happy. You're usually to be here. everywhere, so yes, I'm glad to see you back. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so. What would you like to tell everybody about your work? Just, you know, follow Carrie Lane Music on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter. And if you're looking for PR, go to Bridget O'Brien, PR and events.com. And you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, at Bridget O'Brien PR. Okay, so Bridget, you're still doing your work. I'm still doing, doing my thing. thing. And I see your little beauties here. They <laughs> are so right. cute. Thank you. I think your son has a crush on me. He's I think he blushing. does. <laughs> He does. So um, he was saying hi, so um, I said hello, and like I said, this is a great, great event, and thanks for inviting us, and we're going to go ahead on and interview um, some other artists you have right. in the building. Okay? Very good. Thanks, Thank you Bridget. for coming. Okay. See you later. Thank you. Okay. Peace. Hey, what's up? This is Suki Suki again. We at Carrie Lane's video release party, and we ran into some new artists that are up up and coming. And uh, right here, we got Little Dog. Little Dog, you know I have to ask questions about your name. So, Little Dog, tell me a little bit about you and where you're from. Uh, I'm a 15-year-old rapper. I'm from Long Island, New York. Mm -hmm. I've been rapping since I was nine years old, so about six years now. I kind of got my rapping style from my dad. He's when, he, when he was younger, he used to rap. Oh, okay. And then I just got it from him, so I moved on from there. Congratulations. Congratulations. So how long you been rapping? About six years now. Six years? Yeah. Oh, so you started very young. Yeah, I started well, when I was so nine. So your dad inspires you? Yeah. And what other artists out there inspire you? Probably like Chief Keef, Mac Miller, uh -huh. Eminem I got a lot oh, of style okay, from. Okay, okay. So um, what made you feel like you had the rapping skills? I just like, a few times I went in my room and I just like freestyled onto a beat like mm -hmm. once or twice and I just like thought the feeling of it felt very good inside mm -hmm. besides school and like having my education come upon myself. Yeah. And it just felt that rapping was one of the things that I'd like to possibly do. Oh, okay, okay. So right now, what are you doing today, like this year? Like what have you done so far? Uh, I've did a lot of shows all, all over the city. I've did maybe over 200 shows. Okay. And uh, besides school, I've been doing basketball. Okay, congratulations. So, so all right, so are you looking to be drafted one day or graduate and go into college um, basketball or something? Possibly. I'm kind of focusing on my rap career right now. Though. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, besides that, your, your dad inspired you. So, your dad's still rhyming right now? Is he no, still rapping? He, he actually stopped. Oh, okay, and he, okay. When he stopped, he kind of looked forward to move on to me. Okay, great. So, I'm great. practically so, his new artist. Oh, all right. So, he's more like uh, he, he, he does your music with you and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay, so you make like, beats. I, I write the rhymes. Oh, all right. That's what's up. So yeah, keep it in the family. So yeah. what he's doing is basically training you to what he was at yeah. one time. And you already got it, I, I suppose. So can I hear a freestyle or something real quick? Yeah, I can spit something. I'm going berserk to make this thing work. I'm about to know words and the verbs that you heard. So have it your way. I'm right in your face. Grab me the mic. I send the cake. Give me a break for a second. Wait, I got into my pants and I'm ready to break. Everything's smooth and everything's cool. Monday through Friday, I go to school. I'm keeping my cool. Follow the rules, I'm not gonna be a dropout fool So you better think fast and go with my hopes So wild things are, yeah, punch out the gold Watch you take off of my turbo first pack Triple the block, right off the bat So you better step back, take a nap Cause the Dragon Ball Z has got my back All right, Little Dog, and the name is Little Dog How do you, I mean, why the name Little Dog? She's something different it's just something different. I'm little big, dog. so I, I you, you big. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> okay. Just dog. All right, so that's what's up. So where can people check out your music and check out your um, work? You uh, you can find me on Instagram at little dog underscore L D mm -hmm. L I L D A W G underscore L D. Or you can find me on Facebook at Richie Valentine. Or you can also find me on my YouTube channel, Scarlock Videos. S C A R. Hey, Suki with Cinnamon Chips Media. Ken Harris. Ken Harris. Hey, Ken Harris. How you doing? I'm Suki Suka, Real Talk After Dark TV. I'm doing great. Uh, Cinnamon Chips Media is a company owned and operated by Cynthia Horner, who okay. used to have Right On Magazine. Currently working with Hip Hop Weekly. Okay. I'm her husband, Kendall oh, photographer. Congratulations. Celebrity photographer. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, Little Dog, is, are you the manager of Little Dog? Yes, we're, we're working on Little Dog's career mm -hmm. along with several other young artists. Mm -hmm. But Little Dog is one of our feature products. Okay. And uh, we expect big things from him. Oh, all right. So, how long you guys been managing him? We've been working with Little Dog for about 
two years now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Him and a young lady named Shamila, who's a pop singer out of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And then we're collaborating with a group from Newark uh, that's managed by a guy named James Davis. Okay. And he has uh, Ivy Matic, uh, Jahi, and Jonathan Sumter. Okay. Uh, Stamper, excuse Stamper, me. Okay. Stamper, okay. S-T-A-M-P-E-R. And what we're about to do is embark on a Save My City program where we're looking to go around the country with these five acts okay. and address this, uh, have them address their peers, mm. talking about stop the violence, okay. stop the bullying, put down the guns and pick up the books. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, that sounds a great idea. So well, what got you started doing this? Well, in doing the photography and my wife being a journalist, we was doing a lot of work for a magazine called Write On and mm -hmm. a magazine called Word Up. Okay, I heard a word And mm -hmm. we worked with a group, Mindless Behavior, which was four young men. Three of them was from California, one was from Philly. And in working with them, I saw the opportunity to do some things with some young folks. Mm -hmm. And my wife is known for discovering acts. She's discovered Prince. Okay. She discovered New Edition. All right. She's traveled with Michael Jackson. Wow, wow. So she has, a, she has a history of being associated with up and coming acts. You know, Right On Magazine was the first magazine that featured people of color okay. in uh, the entertainment field. Yes. So she was kind of like that go-to person. And through the years, people have come to her when there was a new act on the scene that they felt was worthy of her attention. Okay. Little Dog was one of the people that was so brought what, to us. Oh, okay, so what brought you to Carrie Lane's video release party? How did you find out about it? Well, we know Bridget, okay. and uh, my wife is often involved in events that she does, and okay. of course, the celebrity presence out. All right, so, all right. Yeah, and we came out to support Carrie. Okay, who has so a how many voice. artists you're working with right now? We're working with five. Five, and then the five is you looking to do a tour we're looking, on going we're looking to the world. do a tour in the schools, mm -hmm. uh, boys and girls club, youth organizations. Okay. Uh, we want to get the kids in front of their fans. Okay. And when I say these are five exceptional acts, mm -hmm. I'm talking mm -hmm. about five mm -hmm. really exceptional acts. Okay. Little Dog uh, reminds me a lot of Eminem. All right. All uh, right. So he, 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 he laid down, he put some stuff on the mic for us. And right. So we will be showing it at the end of this segment. Oh, that's great. Yes, you know that's what I'm great. saying? So um, it was great interviewing you. And I'd like to, um, to know where can people find you? And are you looking for other artists? Um, how can they get in well, touch with you? Well, right now, we're concentrating mm -hmm. on these five young acts. We have an older division, mm -hmm. but we're going to get these five out first. Mm -hmm. We're actually looking to start our own label with mm -hmm. Cynthia being the name and face of the label. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can reach me. On Facebook, Kenneth okay. Harris 127. Okay. On Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, I'm Ken's Picks on Twitter. All right. At Ken's Picks. I don't have an Instagram page because I'm a photographer. Okay. And I would be posting pictures day and night. Okay, <laughs> that's right. right. And, but you should because it just showcases in your freelance work and what you do as well. And um, I'm Suki Suk once again. It and I want to thank you thank for allowing you. me to interview you. It is a pleasure being interviewed by you. Okay, thank you. Peace. What's up, this is Suki Suk. Once again, I'm back with another artist. You're an artist? Yes. Yes, so another artist right here at the Carrie Lane's video release party. And um, your name is? I'm Jen O'Hagan. And I'm Suki Suk. Nice Very nice to meet you. you. So tell me a little bit of what you do, Jen O'Hagan, and what brings you here to the Carrie Lane video release party. So I am the lead singer of a band called Third Floor okay. that is started out of Ramapo College of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, I met the band members at school, we started playing together, and it's been really awesome. Um, we're an alternative rock band. Oh, congratulations. And thank you. It's, okay. it's very fun. Um, what brought me here today is I actually met Bridget through um, 
an inner Irish beauty pageant that okay, I did, okay. known as the Rose of Tralee. Okay. And um, I became affiliated with her. She was like, I know you sing. I think this would be a great opportunity for you. Mm -hmm. And so I'm here. All <laughs> right. So you, so um, you, you're basically one of the lead singers of a band. Yeah, I'm the lead. And singer. then where can we find the band's um, information at, like the performances? There is. Um, we have a Facebook page right now, mm -hmm. which is. Um, Facebook.com slash third floor RCNJ. Mm -hmm. And then we also we have an Instagram which is just third floor RCNJ. Um, yes. And then we also have a YouTube channel. Okay. Which um, that you just search third floor and find our channel. Third on. floor. It's like I heard um, of the group before. Really? Yeah, I heard of you guys before. So basically, y'all do rock, pop, what y'all do? We do um, alternative rock. The songs we cover, right now we have a show coming up on Saturday, and we're mm -hmm. going to be um, performing, actually, the song Carrie just sang, one of the covers, uh, Shut Up and Dance. Okay. Uh, we're going to be covering X's and O's, X's, and, yeah, by L King. Okay, okay. Um, and then Ellie Golding, we cover her sometimes. All right. Hayley Williams is my favorite human. She's the lead singer of Paramore. All right. Um, so we cover her stuff sometimes. Um, and our originals come from a bunch of different influences, but we write them. Uh, okay. Me and my guitarist do that. All right, so how long have you been performing? Myself? Uh, mm. I was in a band. I started being in a band in fourth grade. Okay. Actually, um, it was an all-girls band called mm. Ruby Ruby. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we performed all around the Bergen County, New Jersey area. That's where I'm from. Yes. And so I did that until seventh grade, and then I kind of... Um, outgrew it a little bit, okay. but it was it was definitely fun. It was awesome. So that was that's really what got you started. I would love yeah. to be with a band. I'm also a singer as yeah. well, and I'm dying to get my own band. Absolutely. And I know it's fun being with a band because it allows you to use your voice the way mm -hmm. you want to. It's not just one beat. You Absolutely. know, you get to. So you know, for me, I've up. been I've been really lucky meeting the guys that yes. I've met. I love working with them. We have such a great dynamic. Unfortunately, they couldn't be here tonight. But, okay. Um, but you were, were and yeah, you're absolutely. You're Always. And that's what you gotta do. <laughs> absolutely. And networking is a great key. Mm -hmm. And that's how we get where we get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how we get to the top. Networking <laughs> important to network. Yeah. So tell us um, how to find you and and your stuff. To find me, right yeah. now my stuff is primarily third floor. Okay. I'm not doing original stuff um, right. aside from my band. It's really my main priority right now. Okay. okay. Um, I mean, my own personal information, my name is Jen O'Hagan, mm -hmm. um, and I have an Instagram, I have Twitter, I have mm -hmm. Facebook, all under the same name. So. And what would you say to other women out there who are trying to become part of a band? Uh, what would you say to inspire them to keep going like you did? Um, for me, I just think it's just to stay true to yourself. Um, for me, it's, it's tough being a woman in the industry. Yeah. There are a lot of influences. There are a lot of um, outside suggestions that might not always be so great. Yes. And I just think that you have to own your talent, own what you have, and stay true to what you want. I'm currently going in for an industry that's not necessarily the most popular out there right now. That's right. But that's where my heart is and that's mm -hmm. what I'm going to do. So. And then sometimes you do what, you, what your dreams are. You follow them, you believe in them, you have faith in them and they come true. Absolutely. And that's what happens. <laughs> and once again, I'm Suki Suk and I want to thank you for allowing me to thank interview you, so you. And it's, it's nice meeting, meeting you. you. Okay, I hope to see you again yes, down absolutely. the line in the field. Thank you. All right, y'all. Peace. Hey, what's up? This is the end of our segment. Suki Suk, we are now all the way out in Little Neck, New York, Queens, borderline of Long Island, and Real Talk After Dark Radio. Shout out to Rock Out Celebrity, and this is how we do it. And we're getting ready to be out. We'll see you at the next event, hopefully. Peace. Suki Suk. <laughs>